Hi guys, um, in this tutorial um, video, we're going to be lo finally looking at um, how to incorporate the pagination plugin that we wrote in previous tutorials into um, our JavaScript um, templating series. Okay, all right, so first of all, what I want you to do is go ahead and get the style.css from that video. It's actually called style.css, but since we need another style.css file, so just go ahead and get that um, style.css. The, what's inside of it and paste it inside another file called pagination.css so I'll quickly grab that so we'll create another file in our CSS folder here called pagination.css and paste the pagination CSS from that video so remember do not call it style.css call it pagination.css so when you include it inside your style sheet here so instead of calling it um, style.css we'll call it pagination.css so um, href of CSS slash pagination.css. Okay, all right, and we'll just give it a type of text CSS. All right, that's done. So next, let's get the pagination um, script as well. Um, that one is fine if you just paste in whatever we have. So I'll just um, actually yeah. So we have that. So we've got our pagination script and we got our pagination styling. So I actually have done some styling for our page here so that it um, for our contacts list here so that it looks as it is looking right now in the browser. So this I did a bit of styling. Um, just to cut this tutorial short, I didn't go through that styling. But when I upload the files for this video um, series, you can actually go to my uh, my website and download the um files so you can have a look at what's being done inside of there it's not very complex so that's why i skipped it but um it's not magic so <laughs> all right okay guys so um if you remember how we include a pagination inside our html is we go ahead and create a div with a class of pagination so div we give it a class of what pagination and okay all right and inside our cu custom.js we call that um, pagination plugin that we have included all right so custom.js we say we target that div that we just created up above in the HTML file so it's called pagination class and we say dot custom paginate so if you remember, we're calling this custom paginate because in our custom, uh, sorry, in our pagination here, this function we created it. So it's part of jQuery now. All right. So we want to pass it some few parameters to override the defaults, and the first parameter we have to pass it is items to paginate. And once again, guys, if you don't know what's what what's happening here, I urge you to please go and watch that tutorial video on called simple jQuery pagination. I do have it on my channel, so you'll be able to follow on what's going on here. All right. And okay, so what we want to paginate is these elements here. Contacts. Let me go in the browser and just show you basically. So F12 tools in Firefox. So these are the elements that we have. They all have a class of contacts. So we want to paginate them. So these are the items to paginate. That's why we're calling this here. All right. So inside of custom.js, items to paginate have a class of contact and next items per page is four All right so just for this tutorial we're going to keep it this simple we're not going to go any further passing any more objects so let's go back in our browser and then refresh and see if we do have pagination going on here so if we scroll down here yes we do have pagination and we're paginating these so how many items? A one, two, three, four. If you see guys, that's what we said. So if I'd have passed something like um, three here, you will see three items on a single page, all right? So we have three items here and we have more pages in the pagination. So guys, I know this looks a bit out of ordinary as in it's not being in the middle here. So let's go ahead and try to um, fix that using some fix to our CSS so let's see what we have to target so paginate here it's um what do we have to do so we have a class of paginate that's the container so we just center it in the page quickly so let's go back in our style.css here 
So let's target. Uh, remember, guys, any custom styling that you do into your um, pagination, don't change this pagination.css file. Just that's the plugin. I mean, you don't want to ruin your plugin. So just come in style.css here um, and just target that pagination. And sorry. <laughs> And give it a margin of zero pixels and what else? Auto. Okay, so let's go back here and refresh. And it should come in the middle, but it didn't. Let's go ahead and see what's happening. Apparently, we need to give um, the pagination a width because it's taking up the whole width of the page. All right, so. Just fix that quickly. So width of um, let's say something like 350 pixels. It's not the hard and fast rule, but yeah. Just uh, so we refresh. All right. So basically, the width I gave it was the width of this contacts list over here. So when you give it a width, it becomes smaller, and the um, the sorry the margin zero pixels and auto that will center it in the middle of the page all right guys so there you have it we have done a javascript um templating and if you don't know why we need javascript templating just either go do a google search quickly and see uses of javascript templating or stay tuned for more tutorials coming i'll be doing a advanced javascript pagination which includes um usage of this templating you will see why templating is needed if you don't see the use of it now, I do understand. Even I didn't see it when I first started using it. But I do promise you, it's very real. And right now, where JavaScript is going with all these single page applications, I mean, it's become even more necessary to understand and use JavaScript templates. All right, guys, so that's the last video of the tutorial series. And there you have it, guys. JavaScript templating um, contacts list using underscores and the pagination jQuery plugin. All right. And there you have it, guys. Thanks for watching this video. And please rate and subscribe and share with all your friends if this video was helpful. And please make some more suggestions because um, that's what keeps me going. If I do know that people love these tutorials, I'll keep making more of them. And thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next series. All right. Bye bye.